I'm a math expert, and today we're going to go over how to find the asymptote of an exponential growth function. So uh, let's just write out a standard example of an exponential growth function. y equals a times b to the x. And for it to be growth, a has to be greater than 0, and b has to be greater than 1. Now, to find the asymptote, an asymptote is basically the value that either y or x approaches as they go to infinity or negative infinity. Like, which value is this going to approach? So, I'm just going to draw a quick graph here to help kind of visualize. This is our exponential growth function. Now, so just thinking about it graphically, as x goes to positive infinity, it doesn't really look like this is going to approach any kind of a value. It just kind of keeps going up. And as x goes to negative infinity, it looks like it's approaching some sort of value here, right? Because it's kind of leveling off. So let's take a look at that. a times b to the x. Okay, that's what that is. Now these are all negative x values. So this can be rewritten as a times b negative x, where x is now a positive number, a over b to the x. Because remember, if you're multiplying this by a negative exponent, kind of taking the inverse of it, so we're going to get y a equals, excuse me, y equals a over b to this x. Now as x gets greater and greater, because b is bigger than 1, it's this number right here is going to get larger and larger. For instance, so say we had the number 2. 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4, 2 cubed is 8. This number is going to keep growing and growing and growing. And so it's going to go from something like 1 half to 1 fourth to 1 eighth to 1 sixteenth. And it's going to keep going and getting smaller and smaller and smaller until eventually it approaches 0. And that's what a horizontal asymptote is going to be. Because you can see the graph really doesn't have any other bound. It goes to negative and positive infinity on the x values goes to positive infinity on the y, but a horizontal asymptote right here is going to be zero. And that's a way to find an asymptote of an exponential growth function. My name is Suba, and thank you for taking an interest in math.